Hello friends. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to calculate simple interest. To revise what we have learned in our last lesson, suppose we are taking a loan from a bank. Sukram is a farmer. He took a loan from a bank. He said, I'd like to take a loan of 10,000 rupees for one year. And bank said, sure. And Sukram has to return 11,000 rupees after one year. The money taken as loan is called principal that is 10,000 or the initial value. Money returned is called amount which is 11,000 rupees. And the difference, the extra money returned 11,000 minus 10,000 is called interest. Right? So the formula for interest is amount minus principal. The amount returned in case of loan minus the principal is the initial amount received as loan. So Sukram returned 11,000 rupees after one year for the loan he took for 10,000 rupees. So 10,000 is the principal, 11,000 is the amount returned. So 11,000 minus 10,000 is 1,000 rupees is the interest. These are important terms which we should always remember. Principal is the initial value, amount is the final value and interest is that extra thing. So interest equal to amount minus principal or amount can remain here principal goes on this side so amount is equal to principal plus interest. So Sukram took a loan for 10,000 rupees. 1,000 rupees is the interest. So 10,000 plus 1,000 is equal to 11,000 rupees is the amount returned. Let's take this case of making a deposit. Sukram deposited 10,000 rupees for one year and bank returned him 10,800 rupees after one year. So money deposited, the initial amount is 10,000 rupees, is called principal. Money received from the bank, the final value is 10,800 rupees at the end of one year, is called amount. And the extra money that Sukram earned, which is 10,800 minus 10,000 rupees is interest, which is 800 rupees. So interest is same whether you are making deposit or taking a loan amount minus principal or final value minus initial value. So 10,800 minus 10,000 is 800 rupees and amount is same principal plus interest initial value plus interest 10,000 plus 800 is 10,800. So principal is initial value amount is final value interest is the extra whether you are taking loan or deposit the terms remains the same. And how is the interest calculated? Let's take the case of when the interest is of form simple interest. This we have learned in our last lesson also. The formula for simple interest is principal into rate into time divided by 100. So principal is the initial value. Rate is the rate of interest, rate of simple interest charge. And time is the number of years or it can be number of months also. So let's take the same example. Sukram took the loan for one year. Principal, the money which he borrowed is 10,000 rupees. The rate which bank charged is 10% per annum, 10% on a yearly basis. And the time for loan, Sukram said, I'm going to take a loan for one year. I'm going to repay after one year. So simple interest will be principal, that is P R rate as which is R and T as a time by 100. Rate in terms of percentage. We replace principal by 10,000 rate as 10 time for the loan taken is one year divided by 100. These two zero gets cancelled. So you're left with 100 into 10, which is 1000 rupees. So simple interest is equal to 1000 rupees. Hence the amount to repay is principal, which is the initial value plus interest, which is final, which is the extra 10,000 plus 1000 becomes 11,000, which is the final amount, which Sukram needs to pay after one year. So simple interest is PRT by 100. Suppose Sukram took loan for two years. How is this going to change? What is the amount he needs to pay after two years? What will be the interest value? Use the same formula. Principal remains the same. 10,000 rupees loan he took. Rate remains the same. 10% per annum. Time for the loan increased from one year to two years. So simple interest formula remains the same. Principal into rate into time by 100. What you can do is replace all the values 10,000 into 10 into 2, 
because the loan taken is for two years so the value he's going to get is 2000 rupees is the simple interest for the two year period so amount to repay will be principal which is the initial value of 10,000 plus interest which is 2000 rupees which is be 12,000 rupees is what Sukram needs to pay after two years so after one year he was supposed to pay 11,000 rupees but if he took for two years it will become 12,000 rupees the interest for the second year also comes into the picture right 1,000 rupees for one year 2,000 for two years 3,000 for three years in this example right let's take the example for the deposit principal was 10,000 rupees this is the amount which Sukram decided to deposit in the bank and bank said Sukram, I'm going to give give you 8% for this fixed deposit per annum. That is 8% of the interest I'm going to pay to you per annum basis. That is, if you deposit 100 rupees, 8 rupees I'm going to pay you extra at the end of the year. Time for deposit, Sukram said, I want to deposit this money for one year. So the simple interest formula remains the same whether you're taking a loan or you're making a deposit principal into rate into time. So replace it by principal of 10,000 rate given by bank for the deposit is 8% which is 8 and time for the deposit is 1 year. The value comes out to be these two zero get cancelled you get 100 into 8 which is 800 rupees as a simple interest which bank gave to Sukram at the end of the year. So the total amount received by Sukram is 10,000 rupees which he deposited the initial value plus extra 800 rupees which he got making it to 10,800 rupees is what he received. So his money increased from 10,000 to 10,800. He's happy, right? If he made deposit for two years, how much he's going to get? Same thing. Principal of 10,000 rupees, rate remains the same, 8% per annum. For one year, 8%. Time for deposit it increased from two years, one year to two years. Let's find out how much simple interest he's going to earn for two years, PRT by 100, 10,000 is principal, 8 is the rate of interest per annum and time for the deposit is two years divided by 100. Cut these two zeros, you get 100 into 8 into 2, 100 into 8 is 800, 800 into 2 is 1600 rupees is what he gets after two years. So one year he was getting 800 rupees, after two years he's getting 1600 rupees because the second year also he got interest. Interest is for every year. So amount received will be principal plus interest. 10,000 is what he deposited. 1,600 rupees of interest bank gave him after two years. So Sukram is very happy. After two years, he got 11,600 rupees. Right? So remember children, the formula of interest is simple. Simple interest is principal into rate into time by 100. And amount is principal plus interest whatever you calculate here just add it with the principal is what amount you are going to receive if you are making a deposit or you have to repay when you are taking a loan summary very important children don't just remember the formula but the real crux of interest is interest is great when you are depositing money your money is increasing you deposited 10,000 rupees you got 10,800 from the bank after one year or two years more than that right 11,200 rupees but interest is costly when you're taking a loan right say you're taking a loan for your farm you need or when you grow up you are going to take a home loan to build a house or a farm loan or a manufacturing loan interest is costly because you need to pay extra money in that case so remember the formula remains the same but your thought process should be very different when you're depositing money you should find out places where you can earn more money and when you're taking a loan you should ensure you're taking from a bank where you are paying paying the least amount of interest that's all in this lesson children bye bye